Um, ran by the county office this morning, got my building permit for the septic system. So Barry's running gravel right now so we can start getting that going uh, so I get my tanks in. Got a couple days of dry weather. It's just rained on and off non-stop for the last week and a half, two weeks. We got a couple days of dry weather and then it's going to go back to uh, rain again uh, in a couple days. So we're going to try and knock those out. A little bigger than I expected. I had one, that massive guy there, I wasn't expecting that to come loose. It was probably loose for a while, I just didn't catch it when I was pulling everything else out. But the reason why I'm making sure all these rocks are out is that we don't have a concrete tank. We have those poly tanks over there, so I can't have any of these rocks uh, potentially poking into the side of it. And that was a monster there. I was trying to hold the camera when I was uh, doing that and um, had the arm extended too far and about. Uh, try to tip me over but it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing it's although in the camera it looks like it's pretty light it's actually getting somewhat dark so I'll let the sump pump drain this out and then all this dirt around the sides these rocks that have fallen in here all that needs to come out before we can uh, put those tanks in and then I'm going to put a nice bed of that uh, uh, quarter chip stuff along the bottom tamp it down and get it level and then get my tanks put in so hopefully we can accomplish that tomorrow and there won't be any, any issues, any problems or anything. Get this all pumped out. Tackle it tomorrow. Well, today's the first hot day for sure. It's supposed to be uh, 85, I think. That's too hot for me. 70s is good. 60s is great. Should probably have moved further north. Anyways, so I got this leveled now, and um, the water in there actually kind of helped me a little bit because, of course, water naturally levels itself, so I could see. Uh, pretty much where I needed to be uh, If I was getting the rock level and then I ran through with my uh, transit over there made sure I was good So right now my inlet is two inches above that ledge and I have Eight inch well I have about four inches of play in it So I'm expecting the weight of the tanks to sink down in there a little bit. You know that being wet does mush around a little um and I've got to dig that trench back out so I can get my line in there. So I'm not looking forward to that. So I've got to go find a shovel, dig that out, 
check my elevation one more time to make sure the pipe that's coming out of the house, uh, the bottom of that pipe is going to clear the top of that rock. So that's what I'm going to go uh, work on now. Now getting some uh, pipe and a shovel so I can go dig that trench. Ran across Mr. Green Snake, it's a leaf snake. This is probably the first snake we've seen this season, I think. You know what? I'm gonna cheat. Here I could use the shovel to dig my trench out, but why would I do that? And I have a mini axe. the green snake yeah yeah I just saw them when I was bringing the pipe back I said how friendly they were what nice snakes those are pretty cool too huh yeah yeah they like to eat bugs well I got a little bit of a problem there's a big rock it goes from there, third part of my bucket it goes off in that direction. And I'm not quite sure how big it is just yet. I either have to get the jackhammer out and try to break this up or dig it up. Either way, it's not going to be fun. Okay, I got my rock hammered out enough, I hope. Went ahead and just temporarily set on the, uh, the four inch adapter there. I'm gonna run a pipe out and then check my level. And I think we'll be good to go here. Uh, Barry shut up, he's getting some uh, dirt over here so we can start filling in around it. Let's hope we'll be setting tanks here pretty soon. Well, tank number one in. Lines up there pretty good. I got enough play in this pipe where a little off I can move it back and forth, but I definitely dug a big enough hole, so. Well, I thought it was hot outside. Get inside one of these black tanks. It's really hot. So, there's my pipe. There's my inlet. I gotta check to make sure I'm lined up good. And then inside here, um, I wanna be up high if I can. Because then when it goes out that side, I need to be about in the middle. I need to be on the bottom when I go out into the uh, lateral fields. So that's the inside of the tank. Um, it's got some supports in here, I guess, for uh, stuff coming down from the top, pressure from the top. Here's my T's. So this T is supposed to fit an inch and a half, inch and a half off this lip, like that. And so the reason being is the lid cover can fit on here, and it's not going to get in the way of this sitting here if I'm an inch and a half off of that. Now you can open it up and they can look down and inspect it and all that good stuff. And then I'll have one of these on the other side going out and then one going into the next tank. So the next step is going to be to figure out what my elevation is to drill through here so that I have a good slope uh, from the house coming in. And then I've got to knock my pipe through, which is going to be fun. Right. Oh, this is going to hurt my knees. So I level from the outside and I got it to where if I'm about an inch down from the top, 
will be a perfect hole. I'll still have enough slope. So this actually everything has just worked out. Worked out great so far. Yeah, I'm not really sure which way it goes. Which way it goes out. All else fails, you read the directions. Oh, the directions don't say. It just says put the gasket in, so that doesn't tell me anything. Alright, well. Oh. I'm gonna come in from the outside this way. Okay, next thing is some good old Vaseline. This is um, gonna be really tight fitting that pipe through here. So I put some Vaseline on to lube it up so it'll slide through a little easier. It's gonna be a race. Get this in there. Well, I can really screw this up. I don't get it done fast enough. Perfect. Out great. Alright, so Liz just sitting on there. And I've got I put my fingers up there, so I've got a good half inch at least before that tightens down. And then if for some reason I tighten it still hit this top piece actually comes off. It's giving me a little more uh, a little more um, clearance there. <sighs> It was like 85 outside, it's probably 105 in here. Whew. Well, that's one done. Kind of glue this still and tap in the other tanks. Now this is not normal PVC glue. This will actually join several different types, including ABS. You gotta make sure you use the right glue, otherwise it may not stick for you. I'm not really sure, I'm gonna knock this through this way. It may just push this right out. So I should probably turn this gasket around. I guess I don't think it makes a difference which direction it goes. It doesn't seem to anyways. It's going to seal up either way, so... Oh yeah, that should work. Should work. My petroleum jelly has gone from a jelly to a fluid. Hey, Nat!
Well, they finally got this pipe and that was not easy to do. Natalie had to help hold it while I was trying to smack it in from the inside where it's a hundred and some degrees, probably it's so hot in there. We had to take out that support um, to get it to fit in. Luckily it snapped, popped out and snapped back in good. But as you can see on my level, I've got just a little bit of slope into this uh, secondary tank. The clouds are starting to build up a little bit. But uh, tomorrow, actually the next week is storms. So my goal today is to get this in, get it back filled up to the top, um, get my pipe supported, it's coming in over there, and then um, let it rain, and that should settle in everything around the side. So hopefully it won't start raining first thing in the morning, because I don't know if I'm gonna get this done, it's already boy, probably 5, 5.30 or so. I'm gonna run out of time really fast, so hopefully I can get this done. Okay, one thing I'm gonna decide to do on this one is I tapered the end, just took a box blade and put a uh, chamfer on the end of that. So I hope it'll slide in there a little bit better. I'm gonna run it out straight to the west, um, straight into the lateral fill. Originally I was gonna come out the side and 45 and everything, but it makes more sense just to go straight that way into the D-box. Well, that was a world easier, cutting that uh, chamfer into the end. I didn't use a hammer, I just grabbed it and wiggled it in there and uh, went right in, nice and easy. So I probably have to get the hammer and knock it in because I've got to be in about an inch off that edge there. That slipped in there pretty good. Uh, Barry went back to get the uh, skid steer so we can start filling her back in. Day. I think it's about time I get a new hat. There we go. Perfect. So this next day, I uh, worked out here until it was so dark I had to turn lights on. Started about 10 o'clock. And I've already pushed a few loads in on here and stomping it down. We're also, the dirt's a lot drier today. We did get a little bit of rain yesterday. Um, in the evening, not a whole heck of a lot. There are still storms scheduled for today. Um, there's pop-ups at any time they're all popping up around us nothing's hit us yet so i'm going to try and get uh, everything in here i want to get a layer going over the top of each of these um, i want to get my gravel in the pit there for that pipe coming out some gravel under this one and then um hope we'll be done for the day anyways Well, today we accomplished a pretty good amount. We got the uh, tanks pretty much buried. I got to leave the lids exposed um, in case the inspector wants to look inside them. I took pictures and everything, but in case he wants to see, I got them exposed. 
There's where my outlet will go over to the D box distribution box, which will be somewhere over here. And then it will split out to the lateral field. Now, although this looks really level, um, it's still not. <laughs> so I am about almost a foot low over here, about nine inches on that back side, about six inches over here, and then through the center is not bad, but what do you think? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I know it's hey, I have I'm just here for the sunset, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. But I have no idea where the thing starts anymore. It's hidden. Oh, and I'm pretty sure that my bees all swarmed. <laughs> so I haven't had a chance to do anything with them. And uh, I've just been too busy. And I'm pretty darn sure that at least two, if not three of them, have swarmed on me. So. We don't have any more bees. Yep, it's going to be a pretty sunset, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Odie broke it. <laughs> Odie has the power. Odie can break rocks with a mirror bark. Good job.